Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Trading Fearless and I uh, want to welcome everybody uh, back to my channel and just want to do a uh, quick uh, potential trade setup that's forming right here. Um, this is more of a trade, would I take it? So we're now in the waterfall, right, on the 15 minute one two this is our third candle our confirmation candle that we are a downtrend on the 15 minute uh candles right but one of the things i don't like about this uh trade to go short I'm not saying it will or will not work out but normally i'd look for a short right around here okay but i don't like this trade because when i look at the one minute chart you actually have a potential breakout level over here and we can actually see where we just broke out in this trade uh would not have worked out we would have actually gone stopped out or actually we wouldn't have and went one tick above but i don't like the trade just because this is kind of more like a little mini bull flag uh, that's forming right here if we kind of drew uh flag or whatever right the trend lines nice little bull flag also this pattern um where we kind of go up have divergence right here's our divergence right here. okay and then we're just pulling back and now we're potentially going to go back and retest the highs also the same reason i didn't like that trade was the time uh currently it's uh, um when i was looking at trade it was about 658 uh, here in Las Vegas, about half hour into the open. Well, usually around 7 a.m. is when the uh, news comes out. Um, so um, that was a reason for me not to take the trade too. Even though we were in a downtrend, everything was setting up perfect. Um, there are just times where you have to kind of understand what the market's doing. Um, and look at the pros versus the cons yep full flag potential breakout right but also this was such a powerful move and a lot of times when you have massive divergence like we had here okay a lot of times this can lead to bigger moves lower so but this is maybe just gonna be a potential retrace if anything i actually like this trade better right up here if we reach it to actually look for a short and what this trade is is just right above here okay with a uh, potential retest of the uh, current highs but we're able to put on a very low risk uh, reward type of trade meaning if we wait and wait for this level this uh 20 32 level okay and let's kind of zoom in we have a body a body right just above the wick but then we have one two three wick highs right almost a triple top and then a failure if we rally back into somewhere this level i would be looking for a potential short even we can even use this prior candles high, which on the 15 minute chart would be this high, which is around uh, 30, 32, 23, 75. Now I'll come over here, look at my volume profile, what's, or sorry, my uh, dome, what's happening. Oh, look, there's a big order at that 24 level. Okay, also another thing that I like is this type big order right so big order a small order but a big order but this means we have to go break through it but with that being said remember this is that 24 maybe even up here this 24 50 level might be a nice trade as we're breaking out okay so what i do is i would put a trade on that looks something like this now I'm risking three ticks. I'm, there's a big order, big number, right? 600, 
or now 570, 325, and then almost 500. A lot of times what will happen is price will blow through this, fill this, and then reverse back down whenever you see this type of a pattern. We see it right here, right? But could this work? Yeah, it could. Okay, because that is also our uh, 2375, which is this prior 15 minute candle, right? So let's do this. Let's try this trade right here. And my stop is going to go right above that other big order because it should act as resistance. Now, I'm only going to look for one tick on this trade. And I'm risking two ticks on this trade if we do rally up to it. Now, market profile, we have our um, value area high up here. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up a little higher. Also, our AD lines are kind of going down. But again, it's just if we could rally and then fail somewhere up here, I would like that trade because if the AD lines really move on this move higher, right? Think about it. we moved all this retracement, but AD lines are still going lower and are almost near the lows of the day. And the um, AD lines are the advanced decline lines for the uh, New York Stock Exchange. So look at that we broke out came back to retest this trade we would have gotten stopped out on okay um again i like this trade could we have made money yeah probably because if you think about it right our entry would have been literally two ticks we would have had an entry here originally when we first started the video right it only went against by one tick but we would have had two ticks stop because we're trading this based on the 15 minute chart which if you follow my videos you know i always look for a two tick stop loss on the 15 minute chart so um we broke above it would have filled us at 22 and then we got down all the way down to 21 uh even on that trade so we could have picked up our one-to-one -one risk reward two ticks three ticks maybe even four because we hit that multiple times. So, but again, we're watching for this trade to see if it goes up. But one of the keys that I'm trying to teach uh, my students, my um, do one-on-one -on -one mentoring is I try and tell them, watch the bodies and the wicks of prior candles. They are really good telltale signs of multiple things. So, um, those are great support or potential resistant levels uh, that you could see something like this. We have a body low right here and then another body low. Okay, so if we did pull back, I'd be looking for those potential lows, knowing that I could put in a trade with a very small risk reward. So um, it doesn't look like this trade's going to work, um, but at the same time this is really good i believe uh for people to kind of watch and learn and actually understand how to put these trades on right um what to look for what not to i'm just trying to make these videos by thinking out loud these live in the market videos right <clears throat> by showing you what i'm thinking and the reasons i like a trade or i dislike a trade not saying that every trade's gonna be a winner or every trade's gonna work. It, to be able to be successful in trading, you have to accept your losses and accept that you're not gonna be right all the time. But when you're able to use these other charts, um, they create an edge for me, okay, or for you if you follow along with these or or whatever you use don't use too many charts to where it confuses you in and out of trades but so at the same time use a couple charts different time frames again i use a 15 a one minute and a three minute and i use my ad lines of just what's happening under the hood 
of the overall market. So with that being said, doesn't look like trades can uh, go off. Not a big deal. Move on, move forward. Um, and um, that's it. <clears throat> Oh, one more potential trade is as we're pulling back here, we have the 50% of this prior candle, which might be a bounce trade for you to move, um, to put a trade on, but your stop would have to go um, two ticks below this low. But a lot of times it'll pull back prior back to the 50% of the previous candle and bounce. Everybody's risk tolerance is different. You can always scale in. But again, the markets, it's not strong. It's not weak where we are right this second. We're just building out a volume profile, nice belt curve. Um, it might pull back to fill in a couple little things to have a very clean bell-shaped curve, um, which I would not be surprised on. So with that being said, uh, thanks for watching. Always uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you're new, and we'll talk to you on this video. Thank you.